Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ESMJF, the GFS and GF ESMJF ensembles and I want to finish up have a look at the UK Met Office run as well today. Now for many areas in the east it's actually been not too bad really, um, we've had quite a bit of sunshine and it's been chilly but nothing crazily cold really. However, further north and westward we have seen some precipitation starting to push through and it's been pretty heavy. Um, it's fizzling away a little bit across Ireland now, but across northern Scotland we still have some heavier precipitation as these low pressure systems arrive. And we're seeing this sort of pattern because we have high pressure to our east, low pressure to our west, and it's slowing those weather fronts and they're fizzling out um, as they come up against the higher pressure. And that's a continued thing we're going to be seeing over the next couple of weeks. With this sort of pattern, it could create stalling of low pressure systems, which could make, um, we see a lot of precipitation in some western areas. We were looking at yesterday, potentially a low, small little low pressure system spin up, maybe another named storm. And we're still seeing a consistent signal, potentially, of pulling up something milder um, or warmer from the south over the next couple of weeks. So have a look at that in detail in this video. Just remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow into the other links in the description. So if we start by have a look at the GFS run, you can see the weather fronts approaching from the west, bringing cooler air in. Um, but of course, further eastwards, even though we've got warmer upper air temperatures, with a bit of an easterly flow coming in off the North Sea, veering more southerly now, it is going to feel chilly. However, those weather fronts eventually do spread through, decaying as they do. So mainly cloud for the far east, but still getting the air masses through. We do pull in a bit of a warmer air mass from the southwest for a period of time later this week. And we could see maybe temperatures get into the mid-teens, perhaps. Beyond that, we stay generally westerly. We can see this small low pressure system that I've been talking about yesterday. Potentially by Saturday spinning up to our west, and we've got to keep an eye on that before we see high pressure really take back control. And in this scenario, we're starting to pull up a south to southwesterly wind, potentially a burst of much warmer air, maybe from the south, far southwest. Again, it'd be difficult to say exactly what we've seen in that, but if we have a look at the United Kingdom look, look at two meters temperatures, we wouldn't be surprised to see potentially 17 or 18 degrees potentially in the far south east with that warmer air coming up paris maybe even 20 degrees across um in the paris area maybe across northern france so yeah interesting seeing that um again we'll see some more consistency from the models but potentially for the middle of next week looking quite a bit warmer perhaps now if we do continue beyond that we do see eventually that area gets cut off and we stay with this high pressure to east and we go back to a pattern we have pretty much now with high pressure to east low pressure to our west blocking these uh systems and again weather fronts approach from the west high pressure in the east and we're still in between uh we could see some milder air but see some colder air at times as well so very much in between and this is high pressure to our east uh, and our normal east is scandinavian high which is dominating the weather patterns not allowing the low pressure systems to move through but not completely controlling the, the weather so that we stay settled uh, and with easterly or southerly winds. So I've got to keep an eye on it over the next couple of weeks. But as you can see here, generally things are still dry further eastwards or drier further eastwards, won't be completely dry. There will be some colder periods, but we could also see a push of real mild or warm air for a period of time, especially when we see these southerly winds potentially coming up all the way from Spain, the Mediterranean, and maybe even North Africa. So we do now have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, very similar with high pressure to east, low pressure to west. See that small low spin up, but it does fill in as it gets across the UK. Could still be severe, and we'll have to keep an eye on that near the time. Beyond that, we see the high pressure try to build in, and we do start to pull in southeasterly winds by day 10. Milder air mass, but nothing majorly warm by any means. Just generally warmer than average, maybe two to four degrees warmer than average, could be seeing teen temperatures into the low to mid teens, so pleasant for middle of March. So yeah, nothing too crazy appearing on the latest GM run, not going anything massively mild or massively cold, just really in between weather systems with high pressure in and around the country, uh, meaning we're going to be seeing yeah, generally drier conditions, but not the whole time, as I said, further westwards, it was likely to see weather fronts approach for a time. 
If we have a look at the East Simto Efron, see how that does compare. Again, you can see high pressure to our east, low pressure from the west. We do see low pressure winning out potentially um, by the sort of start of uh, or the start of this weekend, and we see that low pressure system spin up, but it does sort of decay away and move away, and we do see that period of potentially south the south easterly winds with their cut off low real warmth being pumped up into europe potentially there um and it depends how far northwards it really does get um with those upper air temperatures for getting cut off by westerly winds so it'll be very interesting to see how that does develop in around seven eight days time we are seeing this from both the eastern GF and the gfs and maybe slightly from the gm but not fully in terms of the milder upper air temperatures so could be seeing a push of really quite warm air again depends on the exact orientation and exact timings but at this stage it is firmly uh there's a there's a real possibility really of seeing this come off um in the next couple of weeks if we now have a look at the ensembles have a look at the gfs and g uh the east and jerry efron now you can see Around average, over the next sort of five days or so, in around the 14th of March, we start to see those temperatures rise. And this is where we could see that little warming, maybe near the time if we see temperatures get up to the high teens, maybe 20 degrees. We could even call it a mini heat wave, perhaps. But at this stage, just a signal of a rise in upper air temperatures. GFS operation run is definitely one of the warmer runs, but by no means is it on its own. Getting up to around 8 or 10 degrees AO for HPA, very warm indeed, a good 4 degrees above average um, around the 16th of March. Beyond that, temperatures return more to around average, but that's because we have a lot of spreads, some going much colder, some going a lot milder. But you can see, precipitation generally is pretty low. There is going to be precipitation at times, especially over the next, or ne not for the next couple of days, but after that, as we head into the weekend, as low pressure approaches from the west, we could see a couple of days of rain, especially with that small low pressure system. But I did say, yes, there could be an aim storm. Again, all depends on how, how much it spins up and whether um, it is at its peak intensity near to land. So we'll have to see, um, I suspect, we'll see any warnings or namings of that happen over the next few days maybe wednesday thursday friday time really for that but generally still it is looking pretty dry now if we do have a look at the ecmdf ensembles for london uh go back to the midnight run you see once again we're seeing this signal around average over the next five days six days and then as we head to around a week's time a week to 10 days time we're seeing a rise in upper air temperatures quite a few now going to around four to eight degrees a under 50 hpa not quite as many milder or warmer runs as we were seeing with the gfs run but quite a few in that sort of warmish range with temperatures in the day getting around 15 degrees um, beyond that still remains fairly above average a few cold outliers but generally the majority are now well above average um, and we could be seeing maybe a bit of a warmer dry period now if we do have a look at those two meter temperatures you can see very possible in london 13 14 maybe 15 16 17 degrees on quite a few of these runs for a few days now of course these runs do obviously underestimate temperatures um i definitely think if it's showing 15 degrees here 17 or 18 degrees very possible so two or three degrees maybe higher than these are showing is very very possible so we'll have to see how it plays out but there could be some warmer weather coming if you're looking forward to something a little bit warmer a little bit drier getting out that nice spring sunshine perhaps the middle of next week could be decent the middle uh or middle of the working week to the end of the working week could be pretty decent but it's just a, a signal at this stage not all the ensemble members are going for it and all the model runs are going for it we're just seeing potentially a, a, a signal that is increasing so we'll have to keep an eye on it, of course. This stage, though, very possible, maybe seeing 15 degrees plus next week. But as I said, we'll keep eyes on the models and I'll keep you updated here. So we now do finally have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation temperature over the next five days. Now you can see precipitation spreading in from the west earlier today uh, and it's fizzling out as it does. More precipitation headings through, uh, throughout the morning, fizzling away across the evening and overnight, um, just really lingering across western areas, maybe a bit of a school line in that as well. Beyond that, it does fizzle away just into a thicker cloud really for most areas. The Thursday does look like it's going to be quite a drab day, precipitation further southwards as well, pushing up and then we see a more widespread area of precipitation 
move through Friday into the afternoon as low pressure does dominate for a day or two. For Saturday, another band of rain, and that's that vigorous low potentially moving within. Again, really depends on how that spins up. But I expect by Monday, Tuesday time, we are starting to see high pressure build back in. Now, if we do have a look at those wind gusts, you can see as it approaches, very possible seeing gusts of in excess of 60, maybe 70, 80 miles per hour, um, and even 90 miles per hour across the southern coast of Ireland. So if we did see this verify, if we did see this continue over the next couple of days, I wouldn't be surprised to see this be a named storm. Um, but once again, no guarantees. We'll have to see how it does play out. So we do now finish up by having a look at the max temperatures. Now I can see today was a little bit chilly for some, 9 to 11 degrees. Um, but um, it's going to stay chilly for some. But as I said, tomorrow could be 12, 13 degrees, maybe a degree or two up. By Thursday, we can see temperatures down into uh, below freezing across Ireland and Scotland. And then if we went Thursday afternoon, still mild in the east, 13, 14 degrees, but further westwards, chillier as a cold air mass is pushing through. And by Thursday into Friday, uh, we're seeing by Friday afternoon, 10, 11 degrees, but further northwards, a little bit chillier. And early hours of Saturday, very cold uh, across parts of Ireland and northern, uh, northern Scotland. But with cloud around, it's going to be 11, 12 degrees, nothing too majorly cold, but nothing really mild either, and through Sunday, still chilly, maybe 5 to 10 degrees, depending on cloud amounts, and showers, and overnight still uh, hovering around mid-single digits, so nothing majorly cold, but nothing majorly mild yet, all eyes though are, are will be on this weekend with whatever's happening with this vigorous little low pressure system, how it develops, and whether it gets named, and then of course, if we do see southerly winds in the middle of next working week, whether we see some mild or all warmer weather into the middle of March. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.